So these guys are state champs, undefeated last year. Seems like a great program. Apparently it's the best in all of Chicago, so they're the big dogs. We're gonna see if they can win another championship this year. We're about 15 miles north of uh, Chicago. A lot of people think we're soft. Just because we're from the north side doesn't mean we can't play football. We've been to the finals six out of the last seven years. Last year we were 14-0 state championship at the uh, highest level of Illinois classification. I think the biggest challenge going into the season is having everyone on the uh, right page. Most people are thinking these guys are going to be complacent. They think they're just going to roll everyone they play. He's one of the best who ever played the position. His insight on how he got there and just what it takes to be a team, you know, it'll be nice to hear. High school football. I want to get out there and start doing some one-on-ones. See if I still got it. Yeah, these kids would probably kill me. How are you? I'm working. <laughs> how you been? Good. Good? Bring it up. First ballot Hall of Famer, one of the best tight ends in the history of the game, Tony Gonzalez. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Like Coach said, my name's Tony. Uh, I played in the league 17 years. My first year, I didn't start, but I played a lot. I realized I was working hard, but not hard enough. I didn't have that routine of greatness, is what I call it. Every year, I would reevaluate myself, okay? Because I knew people were gonna come for me. You're gonna get everybody's A game. You got the biggest target on you out of any team. You can't turn it on for the game day. It starts out here on the practice field. If you don't go out there every day, refocus, evaluate, and know that these guys are coming after you, you're gonna get beat. So I challenge you guys, try to look for ways to tweak that routine that you have, that routine of greatness. Come up with it on your own. We've got a couple guys, Jake, 14, the big guy. He got offered by Alabama, Ohio State, committed to Duke. Yeah, I was a quarterback all my life up until end of sophomore year, and then junior year I made the switch. Uh-huh. Pretty good move, right? Yeah, <laughs> I think it ended up pretty well. Get in there. He's, he's big. He's 6'5", what, 230? Shoot, he might even be a little bit bigger than I was when I was in high school. What he's going to have to learn is when you play tight end, it's a, it's, it, it's a dual position, meaning you're an offensive lineman and you're a receiver. From a blocking standpoint, that's something that a lot of tight ends got to work on. I'm from the old school. You, you play tight end, you block. 